Well, hello everybody. Welcome to Mad Mick. Um, just did an oil film filter change on the uh, on the Zonti Z310X. It's always chaotic when I do something at my age because I can't bend down so well. But here's a video. Um, you can look through it, and, and I did some other things while I had the front of the engine covers off to uh, to make sure there's no rust, etc., etc. But anyway, enjoy my bit of fun. Hello everybody. It's Mad Mick here again. Um, just doing the oil and filter on my bike. I'm doing it every 3,000 miles, so the bike's on 3,500 miles now. And I'm sure I had one at the dealer. It says in the book it has my service book. But I decided to do it myself now at 3,500. So now I don't have to do it again for another 3,000 miles. So I'm going to do the oil and the filter. I'm going with 5 watt 40 oil. It's one to change the filter as well. It's one. 1600 milliliters or 1.6 liters uh, if you weren't doing the filter it's 1.5 on the 310x i take the front shroud off uh, so i can get to the oil position that's just down there and i want to get behind there anyway just to clean it up a little bit uh, i didn't know it had this little uh, thing at the front here you can just take off so you can get to the oil pipe that's because obviously the oil goes inside the frame and comes back down again so there's a little bit that's at the top of the frame that has to come out as well when you do an oil change didn't know they had that window there because it saved me taking all this shroud off it was only um, six um, like, iron key screws and two push pins to take that off and I want to get behind it anyway because there's some oil union pipes that I want to clean up uh, to make sure they're fine Right, I'll show you the bike. The bike's warming up at the moment. Like I said, I've gone with 5 watt 40 synthetic fuel, um, oil because um, it says 10 watt 40 in the book, but on the Zontis website it says 5 watt 40 is their Zontis oil they use. So it's, a, it's slightly thinner oil, so it has to get through the frame. So I've gone for the 5 watt 40. Right, I'm going to go back to the bike because the bike's warming up. It should be warmed up now, so I'm get Right, I'm back on again. Right, there's a 14 millimeter nut this side, I'm just using an oil pan there. You put the 40 millimeter nut to undo that one first. That gets the oil from the bottom of the engine. Then around here, like I said, the front here. Let me just take this off my head for a second. The front here, you have another oil thing here because it comes down the frame. That's nice and warm now. But like I said, I, these oil union pipes here and here, I want to uh, rust proof all them, or take all the rust off them by um, using uh, cure rust which change rust back to metal just to make sure the pipes are fine which I'm sure they will be but since this shroud is off at the front I've got full access so now I've got full access that's what I'm going to do okay so I will now empty the oil out the bottom here alright the bolts off now there's a magnet on the back of the bolt careful this is going to be hot but just make sure there's nothing um, you know like big massive bits of metal on there there's nothing on this one so that's fine <coughs> and the oil is coming out and the oil's nice and thin quite clear it's coming out there which is nice you do it on the side some because the bike's lent over this way so as the oil's dripping out it just drips out and just wait till it stops and then put the put the nut back in that's, i'll just wait for that to stop now it's a nice time while the engine's just trickling out of there. So have a look at the front here on the Zonti 310X. Um, obviously the, the oil comes down the frame here and you've got a nut to release the last bit of oil out there which I'll do in a moment when that other one where I can put the nut back in the other one. But you've got two radiators, a small one on the on the right uh, and an elongated one on the left. But the oil union pipes as well Yeah, there's another union pipe at the top of the frame here. Comes down to there and probably goes through. Comes up here into the frame there. So um, it's just that because of the front of the bike here getting a load of horrible stuff on it, this is it's caked up. Just, but I just want to make sure there's no rust on these brackets, etc. So uh, I'll use Cure Wrist on them now and I'll show you when I've done it. Okay, as you can see, and I'll show you in a second, I've used Cure Rust, Hammerite Cure Rust. You pour a little bit of this into a little container, so you can just use a little brush to put it on. Don't contaminate that 
always pointing to a little bit, then this will last your donkeys. Um, as you can see, I've done this pipe here, metal pipe all the way up, and I've done the pipe on the other side as well. The other side, uh, it's uh, you can't see it, it starts here and works its way up to there. I've done all that pipe, so all the pipes are done now, so that's fine. I know now they're curious. I'm just going to put a little bit because I've got a bit left on the engine mount nuts down here and that will stop them rusting up and on the other side as well and now we get a bit of crud, crud on but it's best just to keep the uh, nuts because these nuts go all the way through these bolts so I say so make sure there's plenty on the other side there where the thread of the nut is etc just to stop them from rusting up they're fine grit and oil and rubbish on the road Everything else in there is fine. The two radios are spotless, they're fine, etc. Or you just check your indicators to make sure they're nice and tight. There's one on that side. There's one on that side, make sure the boat's nice and tight. But that's it now. Right, so that oil will have drained out of there, so I'm going to put the boat back in and do this front one. Alright, I'm just going to undo the nut at the front here. I hope you can see, because I've got it on a stupid M M camera. I put this underneath here. If it, it comes through there, it's fine. If it doesn't, I, I know next time I'll take all this off, but you can take a shroud, get a shroud bit off. So I'm going to take this off now and see what comes out of the frame, just to show you what comes out of the upper frame. If anything, I'm sure it's not a lot. Oh, it is quite a bit when you think about it. Right, let's have a look at this. Yeah, it's just some little bits of fine metal. But I'm glad there's uh, magnets on there. It just collects them rather than being in the in the actual engine. Just some little tiny bits. That's good. All collected. So let that drip out of there for a little bit. And I can clean that up with that oil there. Which is cool. And the pipes all done now, so now they're all fine. Oh, wicked. Might have a clean up the front of the engine bit and then spray it with the oh, what this stuff ASF 50. I'm going to spray all that in there with the ASF 50 before I put it all back together so I know it's going to be right for winter. But yeah, cool. Sorted. Now I can get the new oil in. And then I can get, when I've done this side, I can do the filter before I put the new oil in. Right. Oh, graphics. My son's wanted some graphics on the bike, so I put these graphics on this side, on the other side, some metallic ones, and some light up ones that light up in the dark on, on, on there. <laughs> I mean, the monster energy ones. Because they want us to got me some stickers, they want me to put them on, so they help me decide where to put them. Right, one must. Clean this bolt up. Right, I'll see you in a bit. Right, I've spread WD, not WD40, ACF 50 all in there. And I'll give the engine parts a little bit of cleaning so they drip off, etc. for the next hour or so. And then just to warm. And I'll go to the filter on the other side. Okay, the filter on, on the Sunday 310 X is nice and accessible. Um got the whole pipes going to there, like I said, but yeah, three bolts straight out. So a little bit of oil might come out, a little tiny bit, but it's facing that way. So I'll get that off now. Right, I've loosened these off so they should come off because they're just nuts on top. If you can see, because that's how I've this one off. This is squash behind it. And there is a bit of oil. So I'm going to bring this oil container further over. A bit of oil. It's going to come out. I'm not sure how much oil there will be in there. You know, from this 600 mile service, maybe this motor hasn't, it's some 3,500 miles, maybe it hasn't had a change, filter change, I mean a oil change, because it's very thin oil. 
Right, so I'm glad I'm changing the oil really. I'll spin up back of there. Right, I'm just gonna clean up a little bit here and then I'll get back to you. Okay, when you get a new oil filter kit, you get the O-ring, which goes on to here. That's just a, a ring. You get the oil filter to replace that one. And you get the little black thing here in the case to go on the back there. So you put that onto the back there. Um, and then the spring is inserted into the hole. Which is in there. Like that, so the spring goes in first. I'm just going to clean that up before I put it in. Then the filter will go in, and then the o ring on the back. You've got to make sure that this hole, which is the hole that goes into the filter, the actual oil goes through the filter, through that hole there, into the filter, then comes out and goes back in through the engine there, sucked up through there. So you've got to make sure that that hole at the top there, you can see it at the top, that that is actually located on that okay that hole is located on the top that's all you gotta remember right i'm gonna concentrate now so i'll be back in a minute right i'm cool i've got the front back on everything's there if i knew that access panel was there then i wouldn't let take all this panel off i'll remember that next time for the one there silly boy right and uh i've got to put 1600 I'll this in now, so I'm going to do that now with a funnel that I've cleaned and brand new thingy that I've cleaned. So I'm going to put 1,600 in there and then I'll get back to you. Right, adding 1.7, 1.6 litres, sorry. 600 this was, 1,000 before that. Yeah, I don't think this bike's ever had a filter change. That filter was, I'll show you in a minute, it's absolutely rank. Might have had an oil change. Hmm. But the oil was thin and horrible. So, I take it that it probably hasn't had a filter change. So, if it's up to you, but if you're going about 3,000 miles on your bike and you, you bought a bike with 2,000 miles on it or whatever, no, you said it's all in filter change. I won't believe them. I'd go get a filter and I'd do it myself. It doesn't take that long to do it. Probably about an hour I've taken them doing this. But, yeah. Ah, right. That's that done. Cool, right, I'll see you make through this. Right, I'm just wiping the filter. I hope you can see me. Sorry, the dipstick. You can see some marks on the dipstick. As long as there's something on the marks, once you've run the bike after filling it up, ring, run the bike, or even doing an oil check, run your bike, get it up to temperature, leave it 10 minutes on the side stand, and then just pull it out, wipe it, put it back in again, screw it all the way in, and see if there's anything on that mark. If there's something on that, the mix is there, you're fine. Right. I'm now going to right. I'll start the bike up and uh, let it run for five minutes. And then I'm going out for a bit. Yeah, it's always best to run your bike for a few minutes, just so you can make sure you got one oil bolt where you've undone, one in the centre you've undone, etc. Just to make sure. That smoke will be from the HF50 I put on the exhaust and everywhere else. Um, yeah, just make sure that nothing leaks from anywhere. Look, I've got smoke coming out. <laughs> it's HF50 burning off on the engine everywhere. Right. Thank you. I'll show you the filter now. The old one. Okay, so I've all finished. I've just. Uh, Done the engine for five minutes afterwards, make sure there's no leaks, etc. One thing I was going to say to you, this exhaust partition underneath here, the collector, uh, I spray mine with ACF 50. Uh, all of it complete. Uh, never going to rust then. Because you've got specific rust points it could rust where the rivets are, etc. And where the joins are. All mine's ACF 50. And all the front of the engine is now as well. Now I've had that bit off. So now I'm going to leave it five minutes. I was going to show you that filter, wasn't I? Let me just show you that filter. Oh dear, my pants are falling down. It's there to my pants. There you go. All right. This filter, I mean, that to me is just gunkified. It's probably never been changed. It's supposed to change after the initial 600 miles, but I reckon it didn't get changed. So that's why it's like it is. 
So please check your filters and make sure you change them. Yeah, because it's uh, very important that they change. Right, that's it for now. I'm going to check my oil in a bit and I've finished. So that's how I've done my oil and filter change. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you want to. Um, we're nearly up to 500 subscribers now. Um, I've got lots more videos coming up so on uh, how to do things to your Zonkis bikes as well as uh, ride outs and stuff. Okay, thank you very much. Bye bye now.